I'm Dr. K. Eredi from LVR Dental and Implant Center. So I practice both basal as well as the conventional implants, and so many doctors also have been either using basal implants or conventional implants. But what I would recommend is use a basal implants and conventional implants. Incorporate both these systems in your practice, especially basal implant practice. Techniques of basal implants you can incorporate them into conventional implant practice and then get a best benefit out of it. To to make you aware of these things like how uh, techniques of basal implants can be used in the conventional implant case. Today I am going to present a case where we can see the implants normally conventional implants are placed in a cancellous bone, whereas here. I am placing the conventional implant using the basal implant techniques into the cortical bone, which is a basal bone. So one in the lingual cortical plate, one in the buccal cortical plate. So you now you can see in this further video. Uh, I have come uh, in front of you uh, to present a beautiful case uh, where you know normally any dentist would uh, reject a placing a, a dental implant. But how we manage this case and what exactly is this case? I am going to give you a complete details and I'll show you how the bone formation also. Have happened. So this pa this particular patient, this particular patient uh, had a four six and four seven grossly decayed. Lot of pus discharge was there. So this patient got them removed. And uh, when there was uh, when when we have taken uh, this CBCT of this patient, if you can see the CBCT of this patient, there is so much of bone loss. You can see there is absolutely no bone here. And if you see the same section in four six region, there is so much of there is, there is no ulnar bone at all and the ridge is very thin, the ridge is very thin. So normally uh, this patient has gone to two or three dentists, so they have rejected, some have suggested uh, ridge splitting, but what we have done is no bone grafts, no ridge splitting, we have placed implants in a different angles. How we have placed? In a 4-6 region where there is a lot of bone loss here, Instead of placing implants right here, we have placed implant from buccal to lingual cortical engagement. So the implant, we have placed conventional implants rather than placing a basal implants. In a sectional cases these days, I am preferring conventional implants because, you know, there is, there, we need some amount of osteointegration. We need amount of rigid implants. So uh, some I am not using uh, basal implants in sectional cases. So here in 4-6 region, we have placed a conventional implant from buccal to the lingual so engaging the lingual cortical bone and in region of 7 in the region of 7 in the region of 7 in the region of 7 4 7 see there if you can see there is absolutely no bone at all so what we have done is from we have gone from lingual to buccal cortical we have engaged because as it is if i had placed right implant probably the implant would have been failed but what we have done is we have went from lingual to the buccal and we have placed one lingual one buccal in the next uh, clinical uh, videos and photographs you can appreciate how we have placed and how the bone formation also has happened. So after two months when we called this patient for a second stage surgery I have placed these hex drives into the cover screws to show you the angulation at which the implants have been placed into the bone. The anterior one went into the lingual cortical plate and the distal one went into the buccal cortical plate. And if you see this little amount of bone formation also has happened over the cover screws. So what I would recommend is if there is very little amount of bone on the cover screws just remove with a BP blade. If there is too much of bone then you may have to use a small surgical bar to remove the bone. to heal still the bone uh, did not form properly so instead of placing uh, implants in the cancellous bone we have placed this in a lingual cortical engagement and the distal most implant we have placed with a buccal cortical engagement so if you can see the angulations so after this since this these implants are placed at a different angles we had to use a multi-unit abutments then now after yesterday we took impression and sent it to this RR labs and they made a zirconia, a zirconia crowns 6-7 and if you can see there is no tie base okay there is no there is no tie base and they just finished in one day time 
just take impression today and next day they, you get the zirconia ceramic crowns on the implants. Now today we are going to try this and fix this crowns in the patient's mouth. The healing caps, we will remove these healing caps on multi units. Open mouth. Open. Two multi unit abutments you can see. Okay, so the tissue is nicely healed. Okay, now we are going to K place this. This they recently started this end target. So, with this uh, in one shot, I don't know what's the technology involved. Dr. Swapnil knows it better. So, this we'll see how it works. Good. So this uh, ratchet is set at uh, 20 torque, 20 torque, okay, okay, it's breaking now, we'll try the other one. Okay. Right. Right. Now. now, if you see this, ablation is good. The margins are so good. See if you can see the margins. So beautiful. Okay, we'll move the margin also. This is so good. That's multi unit head. So, okay. Now, this is a 25 now. This is a 25. Okay. Okay. It's breaking, right? I will be I OPG X-ray and see how the fitting is. Okay.